So this James Charles situation has got a whole lot bigger. It seems like every commentary channel under the sun has made 10 videos on this guy. What's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. And unless you've been living under a rock, you would have heard of this gay guy by now. And I, I really wasn't joking when I said every single commentary channel in the solar system was making a video on this guy. <laughs> no, but before we get into any of that, if you wouldn't mind, just go down there, hit the subscribe button and the bell. That'll help the channel out massively. And also, while you're at it, you might as well follow the socials, what you can see on screen. And then, like always, there'll also be a link in the description. Just to get out the way first, if anyone's asking or wondering, yes, this is my gameplay. Feel free to call me dude in the comments, or whatever. So, James Charles. A lot happened since I last reported on him, and people have called him out for a shit apology, and also... He's targeted straight men for some reason. So let's have a look at some old tweets that James Charles posted. And if you're unaware about what happened, basically, whenever a YouTuber is in controversy, people look back at their old tweets and videos to have more dirt on them. And I'm not sure why, it, it just happens. Attractive straight boys will be the death of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I do realize he was like... Wait, how old is he actually? Nineteen. That means at the time of those tweets, he was like, "That's 2014. Take away 1999, which makes him 15. But well, wasn't his birthday yet, so he would be 14. 14. Oh, shit, I'm out, so I got you in my last test. Anyway, uh, Jeffrey Star put out a statement. Fuck you, kid. You're adopted. Why are we still here? Then Jeffrey Star was called out for being being a hypocrite because he posted these about 12 years ago. Just to clarify, I'm not saying it's okay just because it was a long time ago. But for now, just pay attention to the tweet up on screen. And it turns out right that when Jeffrey Star posted that tweet, Justin Bieber was a 16-year-old boy and Jeffrey Star was a 34-year-old man. Random check up, how are you guys liking gameplay? Just a small little break in between the story since the story is so bloody long. Vote in the poll in the top right corner about which do you like more, IDK News or the other videos where I just take the piss out of another YouTuber. Personally, the videos criticizing other YouTubers are more fun to make, but they take longer. Anyway, enough of that waffle, let's get back to work. Tati made an aftermath video, um, obviously about the Bi Sister video, and I'm sorry, but like, she gained like 5 million subs, but she was kind of complaining. Let me play a clip of that. I want you guys to know I don't hate James Charles. I don't want you guys hating on him. I can't even go online right now. It's painful to watch someone that you have cared about be dragged and to know that this all started because of me and I don't think anyone deserves that. I just don't. I think people deserve a wake-up call and I think people need to be called out for their actions. In between the Bi Sister video and this video, I think the bar for James Charles' hatred was just building and building and building up until it hit Max. I think that's what forced her to make this video. Now finally we're out of that massive hellhole of a mega story. This literally just in James Charles has just responded. I don't even know if I'll have any time to talk about any other news. He just uploaded a 41 minute video titled No More Lies. I can't keep up. The I'm a celebrity thing is really 
incredibly frustrating to me because this is an inside joke between my friends and I that Tati has also participated in and she twisted this to be something far worse than what it is. This is the joke that really is where we say I'm famous, not I'm a celebrity, and it's something that we don't say in public very often because without context, I get it, it looks and sounds. I think what he's trying to say here is that Tati literally manipulated her audience into thinking James meant this not as a joke and just generally meant to be douchey and as you saw in that clip he said that it was an inside joke that she was in on. Now I have to say these are alleged claims because if I don't people will come at my neck. Now I'm not saying it is but if what James Charles is saying is true this could be very 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 bad for Tati Westbrook. To finally tell the world how you tried to molest him and touch him in his sleep and made him uncomfortable for months, you sick motherfucker. Next, Zach will be going on camera to tell how twisted and sick you were, trying to get him to like you and then make him feel bad when he didn't want to send you photos back. Then Sam from Seattle will be joining me and Cameron to talk about you trapping him in his hotel room. You need to be locked in prison for a very long time. You need the internet taken away from you. You are a danger to society. As disgusting as it is, I have to admit, bringing up Grace and Dolan was pretty clever. At the height of all these allegations and stories going around, both of them- That was an extremely aggressive tweet sent personally from Jeffree Star to James Charles after Jeffree Star was given a bit of backlash because he was making fun of James Charles' little brother. There's a whole lot of more allegations in that 40 minute video, but if you see the timeline now, I'm running out of time, so I have to be very brief as possible with the rest of it. James Charles' little brother was talking about how he was getting bullied on Twitter, and then Jeffree Star quoted the tweet and told him to shut the fuck up. That's why he got the backlash, and he later took down the tweet, and that's when he sent that DM to James Charles. Anyway, that's going to wrap up for today's video. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like and I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, I'm, go I'm going to fucking bed now.